Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this question on the community and it's actually a very common question and especially new Jira users are confused with this. Now when you create uh, a new issue in Jira, you have to of course fill up a form and when you fill up a form you have to specify the project name and issue type and of course summary and reporter and of course you know, other fields that may or may not be there on the create issue screen but uh, the issue type itself although it's it, it appears as a field but when you want to change the issue type you have to basically perform uh, a move operation because when you change the issue type there are a lot of things that actually uh, happen in the background for example when you ch I mean usually when you change the issue type you are in a way changing uh, the way issue behaves if you are moving it to a different project you will of course have different fields, the issue key will change and issue move is there in Jira for those uh, rare cases when you have raised the issue in the wrong project. And uh, people don't really get the idea that issue type is not really just, uh, changing issue type is not really as simple as updating a field. So if you go to your Jira instance and if you create a new task, let us say, so this is my task, right? I'll just uh, create a task and I'll of course show you how you can change it to or move it to an, an, an epic. So if you notice here, of course you have the um, you know issue type, which is in this case, uh, we know it is a task, but you have to perform a move operation. And when you perform a move operation for uh, some of the, I mean, based on the target project or target issue type, if the configuration allows you, or basically if you can perform the move, for example, if you're moving into a different project, then you should have permission on that particular project. And, uh, if there is a need for a specific field to be there, then it will ask you. For example, if you perform this move for moving task to an epic, you can, but you will have to basically fill in the epic uh, name. And this epic name is uh, epic name uh, text, and you can perform the move. So it is not really that straightforward. And it is, of course, in the beginning when you when when you are working with new Jira users or when you are helping someone move to Jira, they will ask you this question, and I thought I'll probably you know answer this question. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.